Jada. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about something we all do, breathe. But did you know how you breathe can actually reduce inflammation in your lungs? Whether you're dealing with asthma, COPD, or even just trying to improve your breathing. In this video, I'm going to break down how breath work can help heal your lungs and stay healthy. Let's start with basics, lung inflammation. It happens when your lungs get irritated, which could be due to conditions like asthma, COPD, or even infections like pneumonia or bronchitis. It can feel like breathing through a straw, tight, restricted, and not a lot of fun. But here's the good news. Breath work can help reduce inflammation. Breath work includes various control breathing techniques that can help you relax they improve your lung function and actually calm inflammation so how does breath work do this it works through few key physiological and psychological mechanisms i'll break it down for you the first way breath work helps is by activating the parasympathetic nervous system uh, pns for the short term pns is responsible for calming your body down you probably heard it uh, in several of my videos in other videos and my by this time you might be familiar pns is referred to rest and digest system when you practice deep slow breathing like diaphragmatic breathing or alternate nostril breathing you're telling your body to relax when your body is in a more relaxed state it reduces the release of um, stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline which are known for increasing your inflammation in the body so when PNS is activated, it helps lower inflammation in your lungs. Now let's talk about the oxidative stress. Chronic inflammation is often tied to oxidative stress and imbalance between the free radical and antioxidants in your body. Breathwork practices like the pranayama can improve the oxygenation and reduce the oxidative stress. This gives your body a better chance to heal the inflamed lung tissues. Now let's talk about the balance, specifically the balance between the oxygen and carbon dioxide in your body. When we are stressed or anxious, we tend to hyperventilate or breathe shallowly. This can make the lung inflammation more worse. That's where the breath work comes in rescue. Techniques like Guchuko breathing focuses on slowing down your breathing, restoring your carbon dioxide levels to where they should be, and improving the oxygen delivery to your tissues. This reduces inflammation and supports healing. For those of you with asthma and COPD, you know that airway hyperactivity, when your airway tightens or inflame in response to irritants, it's a big issue. Breathwork can help you too. Breathing techniques like close lip breathing or slow belly breathing help relax the muscles around the airways, easing the tightness and reducing the inflammation. It's like giving your lungs a little hug of relief. Did you know that breathwork can actually influence your immune system? When you breathe slowly and deeply, it reduces the activity of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Those are the chemicals your immune system releases during the inflammation. Breathwork increases anti-inflammatory cytokines. This helps your immune system in check and helps stop the inflammation from getting out of control in your lungs. One of the more obvious benefits of breathwork is it strengthens your lungs. Techniques like diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing helps to build up the muscles that you use for the breathing, uh, especially the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. Stronger respiratory muscles mean better lung capacity and efficiency. It's also easier to clear out the mucus and other debris that might be contributing to the inflammation. Last but not the least, breathwork helps reduce stress and anxiety and we all know this. When we are stressed, our body tends to freak out a bit, right? Breathwork practices, when combined with mindfulness and meditation, can reduce stress, which in turn can lower the production of inflammatory markers in the body. Less stress, less inflammation, and better lung health overall. Okay, now you know breathwork can help. Let's talk about a few techniques that you can get started today. The first technique is the diaphragmatic or the belly breathing. Place one hand on your belly, breathe in through your nose, and let your belly raise, not your chest. So, as you're breathing in, your belly raises. Now, breathe out slowly through your mouth. Your belly is now falling back towards your spine and this activates your par parasympathetic nervous system and helps strengthen your diaphragm. So once again, repeat, raising one hand on your belly, upper belly, and breathing in through your nose. And your belly is raising, not your chest. And as you're breathing out through your mouth, Your belly is falling back towards your spine. Yeah, so you. I hope you got the technique. So try to repeat that 10 cycles and three sets of 10 cycles. 
to get started. And you can actually then aim to do 30 circles in one go. The next one, I'm going to teach you a very simple technique, purse lip breathing. Yeah, inhale through your nose and exhale slowly through your purse lip, like blowing a candle. This keeps your airways open longer and reduces inflammation. So let's do. So you can, again, repeat it as uh, to start, get started with, uh, do it for 10 to 20 cycles, and then you can reach the aim for 30 cycles in one go. The next technique is the box breathing. So it is a, a, a equal amount of uh, breathing in, having a holding a pause, and breathing out and holding a pause. So let's do it. So let's uh, do it for four counts um, for all the phases of so breathing in for four, holding for four, and breathing out for four, and holding for four, and then repeating, going back to the breathing in. So that's what we are going to do now. So let's, I'm going to count with my finger for breathing in. Hold. Breathing out. Hold. And the next technique, final technique, I would like to introduce here, which I've also introduced earlier in, uh, in one of the videos, um, alternate nostril breathing. So alternate nostril breathing is uh, trying to make uh, mutra um, in, our, in our hand. It's called Vishnu Mutra. And so leaving out your thumb and your ring and the pinky out and closing your index and the middle finger and into your down to your palm like this and this is called Vishnu Mutra and so trying to place this um, thumb on your right nostril and your other uh, ring and um, pinky you can leave the pinky out raising your or uh, using the both pinky and your ring finger onto your left nostril so this is where the placements of your fingers go and so the starting point is breathing in closing your right nostril with your thumb and breathing in through your left nostril and then closing your left nostril with your um, ring finger and the pinky and then breathing out through your right nostril and then again breathing in through your right and then closing the right and breathing out through your left. So that's where the alternate nostril breathing works. So let's do it. So, so let's start with breathing in deeply and breathing out. And the position of your fingers and now opening up your left nostril, breathing in. Close the left nostril, breathe out through the right nostril. And breathe in right. Close your right and breathe out left. So repeating the cycle for 10 to 15 in one go and aiming for 30, that will help you to uh, reduce inflammation in your lungs and also to clear the passages and uh, improve your oxygenation into your lungs. So there you have it. Breathwork is uh, such a simple and powerful tool to improve your lung health and reduce inflammation. Whether you're managing your conditions like asthma or just wanted to breathe better, these techniques can make a huge difference. Uh, try them out. Uh, let me know how it goes and drop a question in the comments box below. And I also wanted to introduce my Breathe Better book published in the Amazon and uh, it's uh, available for six pounds and Kindle. And there's also a paperback copy available. So go and check out if you're more interested in learning more of the breath work that can help and heal your lung inflammation and help you to live a happier and healthier life. Thanks for watching and staying until the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful and remember, breathe easy. Signing off, Davy Sundar.